The idea for Stage 5 came out of uh, the need to have some identities that were very versatile, that could change with the content, because Channel 5 is obviously a channel that has lots of different content on it. Um, so the concept is to have this giant screen in this beautiful, pristine, lovely space, that going forward we can change how the room works, what's on the screen, how the screen works, what the screen does, how it interacts. So it's basically a blank canvas. The items that we've chosen to shoot cover off a lot of different um, aspects of Channel 5. Basically, due to the very short time frame in which we've got to make these, I mean, on the budget we have, we're trying to make something that's quite ambitious. It's, it's essentially movie-grade uh, computer graphics, so it's, it should look like um, something you could see in a cinema. Uh, we pitched it out to many, many different companies, um, and Earth came back with this proposition which involved uh, one of our executions is a car chase, and we always thought we'd have to build it in CG. Um, and they actually said, no, let's go shoot a car chase. We've got this place in Prague, this company called Stilkin, uh, who should be really, really good. The reason for shooting in Prague was basically down to economics. We also came because we have Barrandoff Studios here, one of the largest studio complexes in Europe. We had to work out what was the, the best methodology to use, which we ended up deciding on a mixture of live action uh, photography and CGI visual effects. We've planned it so much that, you know, actually matching up what we've got on the boards and what actually happens should be fairly doable. What we hope to achieve today is to shoot the plates and backgrounds and most of the action, really, for the set of four idents. Hell of a lot to do, starting off with uh, our drummer and then doing our kids and our VIP. We've got about 15 different setups, so, yeah, just try and tick them off. Looking through the camera yesterday and at the, on the pre-light, you were looking at the walls and going, that's exactly what we wanted. So it's, it's perfect. It's, it's exactly what we wanted, um, which is great. I'm walking on a red carpet and I'm a VIP. It was really good. I wish it would be true. <laughs> Always brilliant. Whenever I've done kids, you know, kids stuff in the past, it's like the one who's, you know, genuinely yeah. enjoying himself. Just playing. Well, that's it. It's just lovely. The elements that we shoot, um, then hoping that that all sort of marries up and the CG works, and it looks, you know, ultimately plausible. That's that's the key. That was it. Instead of going down the traditional route of modelling everything and taking all the measurements, we've come to um, these guys and they've come in and overnight they've scanned the whole building uh, into a 3D mesh which we all then take back and then retexture to use as the backdrop for the whole studio. Add in the lights and all the additional stuff that we need to, to make it look like you know the Studio 5 uh, and then render that into each scene. You know, for, for say floor replacement, anything where there's green screen we'll put in the studio and we'll use this as a complete backdrop. And this is our foundation for the whole of the project and we'll just add on top of it, change the lighting, move around it, we've got a complete 3D control over it. Dude, get over here, this is stupid. <laughs> you should see this shit. We are here in this big warehouse because we're going to film a car chase with two cars, prop car, bad guy, gangster car. We're about to do rehearsal. Excuse me, I'll be back. Wow, that worked. The difference between this and other directing jobs is in other directing jobs, you tend to be sort of on set doing stuff, blah, blah, blah. With this, it's all kind of pre-planned. It's like we sort of programmed it in. It's like, it's like a computer program, isn't it? You sort of write well, it and then the, you just go the DOP execute. and the stunt, yeah. the stunt coordinators, they're the ones who are going to be, be you know, doing it. Stunt guy's going, oh, it's not dangerous enough. <laughs> Where we're shooting the police car that goes through the boxes, we broke the filter on the lens, uh, smashed it. So yeah, that's, that's one disaster. Disaster two has been that we found out that one of the shots we did with the boy yesterday for Imagination uh, isn't there. It's 
gone. And because we're shooting file, it's not like tape. It's been deleted. I'm not particularly worried, because I know that even if we didn't reshoot it, we could make something work. Um, and the filter on the lens, well, stuff happens. Jeff's got an ulcer. Apparently, it's not stress-related. Apart from the art director being having to be carted off to the doctors, really well. The shoot's gone um, remarkably well. This, in, you know, in, when we're shooting something of this scale that involves car chases, anything hazardous, there's got to be a, you know a certain amount of fine detail and a lot of pre-production planning involved. So yeah, it's gone very well. It's a, it's, a, it's a privilege, man, it's, you know, to have all these toys to play with. This is probably the coolest shit I've ever done, definitely.